Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Edge. Hope you all are fine. Today we are focused on the important topics of data communication and networking. Your computer network syllabus is based on seven layer of OSI reference model with a small introduction. So I divide the whole syllabus with six major part. At first starting with introduction, here you have to read the basic concept what is data, what is data communication, then the transmission mode like half duplex, full duplex and simplex. Okay. Then the LAN, MAN, WAN and difference between it. Okay. Then the most frequent question asked in your exam that is OSI reference model and function of each layer. Each layer means each seven layers. So this is very important. Then the TCP IP model and difference between TCP IP and OSI model. Okay. Then the next part is physical layer, transmission medium, or we can say that the type of cables. The example is optical fiber, coaxial cable. Okay. Then the encoding and modulation and the important techniques are Manchester, PCM, pulse code modulation. This is very important. Okay. Next, multiplexing, FDM and TDM, frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing. The next part is you have to read or you have to gather a brief knowledge about modem, what is modem, sampling, attenuation, etc. Okay. Then the Shannon capacity. This is a formula to determine the highest data rate for a channel. Okay. The next layer is data link layer. Okay. Here we have to read the error detection and correction. And the mechanism, important mechanisms are CRC, cyclic redundancy check, then checksum and priority. Okay, the next is error control mechanism. This is very important. The mechanism are stop and wait ARQ. ARQ means automatic repeat request and go back in ARQ. Here you read the difference between these two mechanisms okay then the most important topics in this part that means data link layer is multiple access protocol m a c multiple access protocol the protocols are cmsa cd this is important then the ethernet frame format okay then aloha aloha is also important both the pure and slotted aloha the next layer is network layer. Here you have to read the IP address. That means IP address class. Both class A, B, C and D. Okay. Then a brief idea about the devices like repeater, hub, bridge, switch, router and gateway. You easily get the short question from here. Then the static versus dynamic routing. Okay, then routing algorithms like state, link state routing and distance vector routing. Then IBV6 header, this is also important. Okay, the next is, next layer is transport layer. Here you read the TCP and UDP header, TCP and UDP headers then the congestion control and the algorithms is leaky bucket algorithm so you have to read all this in transport layer the next layer is d application layer here you focus on the overview of dns domain name system then ftp file transport protocol 
then SMTP simple mail transfer protocol, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and www that is wide world wide web. So if you see the 50% of your question in your exam ask from data link layer. So data link layer is most important. and physical layer so 50 percent of your question in your exam asked from physical layer and data link layer so these are the most important layers but remember you have to cover all the syllabus okay but don't skip these topics thank you everyone stay safe keep up the good work and always motivate yourself